This has become such a growing problem that we've received emails from many upset parents saying that schools are even shutting down many of the bathrooms, which is not good during the pandemic. Like people need to use the bathroom, like so. Like, why are you even doing it in the first place? Hindsight is 2020, and when you see the 90,000 plus posts of students bragging about taking part in the latest TikTok challenge, it's clear the problem is nationwide. The challenge urges students to steal from and vandalize their schools, particularly school bathrooms. Then post the videos online. The results are dramatic: soap dispensers, sinks, even toilets ripped out of the wall. Like later on in PE, I went to the bathroom and I see stuff on the floor, wet and everything. So then the school started closing all the bathrooms. It's pretty scary, you know, the idea that you would close down a bathroom in the middle of a pandemic. How do we wash hands? How do we, you know, how do we promote sanitation? Last week, we told you at least two East Bay districts have been forced to shut down multiple bathrooms because of the damage done. Now San Francisco schools are seeing the same issue. It's not fair to them. It's not fair to the teachers. It's not fair to the other students who aren't involved. So that's not okay. Now, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal says TikTok needs to be held accountable, along with the students responsible for the vandalism. I am calling on TikTok to ban these videos, to detect them and prevent them, and ban as well the users, those kids who make use of it its platform to encourage and indeed incite others. TikTok is complicit in these kinds of actions. TikTok says it has banned the challenge and is doing all it can to pull down the videos, but others are going up almost as fast. As for schools, they say they're doing all they can to catch those responsible. In San Francisco, Sharon Katsuda, NBC Bay Area News.